In this video, we will try to understand Mountain Gazelle Optimizer. We will discuss how this algorithm is working using different mathematical models that simulate mountain gazelle behavior in real life. As you can see here, this algorithm is introduced in 2022. It is a nature-inspired population-based metaheuristic optimization algorithm that is basically inspired by the social behavior and life patterns of mountain gazelle. We can use this algorithm to solve different global optimization problems because it provides optimal and efficient design solution and have good convergence rate and stability than other algorithms. So it provides us high level of accuracy and also the processing speed is faster than other algorithms. And this algorithm is also compared with 11 different algorithms like Gray Wolf Optimizer, Squirrel Search Optimizer, Differential Evaluation, Bat, Artificial Bee Colony, and other. About Mountain Gazelle, as we know, they live in groups and they are adapted to live in dry and aired condition and they are awake during daytime and rest at night and they spend their most of time in hills, mountains, and valleys. They form territories and stay in groups and group size 3 to 8 individuals. Here you can see they form three different types of group. First include herd consisting of mothers and offsprings. Second we have herd of young males. And third one includes single males herd. Male mountain gazelles often engage in frequent battles. They compete for resources and female gazelles. So here you can see we have three different types of groups. Mountain gazelles establish their territories at significant distance from each other. This is a little bit similar that we discuss in the elephant herd optimizer. In mountain gazelle optimization algorithm, different mathematical models are used to simulate mountain gazelle social behavior. So as we discussed, this algorithm is inspired by mountain gazelle's behavior and life patterns. So here, different mathematical models are used to simulate mountain gazelle social behavior and simulation of mountain gazelle lifestyle, like their social behavior, grouping behavior, communication between herds, reproduction, grazing, and migration. Here you can see the optimization is done using four key aspects of gazelle life. So here the optimization process is based on more than one factor. So first we have bachelor male herd, then we have maternity herd, territorial solitary males, and the last one, migration to search for food. That is their migration pattern in search of food. So in this algorithm, we will do optimization using different four mathematical models. So now you can see different steps used in this algorithm. So here in the input, we have population size and maximum number of iteration. And, and as output, we need best solution and the fitness value. So first, we will initialize important parameters. After that, we will initialize the population randomly in the search space. After that, we will calculate the fitness value for each gazelle in the current population. And then we will update the best solution. Then we will start the main loop here. Check whether current iteration is less than or equal to maximum iteration. Now for each gazelle, we will perform this. So we will calculate territorial solitary males, maternity herd, bachelor male herd, and migration to search for food. After that, we will sort the population in ascending order. Then we will update the best solution again, and then save the best solution. Repeat the loop until the stopping condition is matched. And once the stopping condition is matched, we will stop and display the best solution that we found in the last iteration. Now we will try to understand how this algorithm is working step by step. So first we will initialize the parameters. So right now just we have population size n. That is the total number of gazelles we need in the current population. After that we have a maximum number of iterations. That is how many times you want to repeat the loop. And after that it will display the best solution. Next. We will initialize the population for the gazelle randomly in the search space. Suppose here we have five gazelles. The value for n, we have five. It means 
the current population size for example we have five so here we have five mountain gazelle x1 that is the first agent x2 second agent x3 third agent x4 fourth agent and x5 that is fifth agent after that using objective function we will calculate the fitness value for each individual in the current population and then we will update the best solution that is the best gazelle among all based on the fitness values after that we will update the location using different mathematical models in this algorithm best that is global solution is represented by the adult male gazelle as four different aspects of mountain gazelle social life are simulated in this algorithm so in this algorithm we will assign each gazelle to a herd of territorial solitary males maternity herd bachelor males herd and migration for the food sources a new gazelle can be born any of the herd and in this algorithm around one third search population is estimated to have lowest cost because in bachelor males herd young male gazelle are not mature enough to reproduce or lead female gazelles so they represent other potential solution and strong male gazelle with good solution engage in both exploration and exploitation phases and other solutions are also compared to gazelle in the herd and the strong gazelle with effective solution are kept at the end of the iteration cycle and big solutions are eliminated from the population so here we have strong mountain gazelle that is the highest quality solution we can consider it as the best solution and we will eliminate the big solution so as in the real life in mountain gazelle groups they have sick and aged gazelle so they are replaced in this algorithm as the big solutions having the lower fitness value so now we will generate new solution using different mathematical models so first we have here territorial solitary males so as we discuss male gazelle live in herd and herd include both young males and females mature male gazelles establish individual territories and display territorial behavior and new adult male occupy a remote solitary territory and different conflicts between adult male gazelles occur over territory controls and they compete over females so here we have first mathematical model that is territorial solitary males so in this mathematical model the adult male gazelle mechanism of protecting their territories against intruder is simulated here you can see this is the best male gazelle that is the current best solution among all here ri1 ri2 that is a random integer either 1 or 2 and xt that is the gazelle position in the current iteration here t represent the current iteration so this is the gazelle position in the current iteration so next we have bh so this represent the coefficient vector of young male herd and further we can calculate value for vh using this equation for x ia that is a random solution so and, and this random solution represent young males r1 and r1 r2 you can see here they are the random values between 0 and 1 normally distributed and value for ra we can calculate using this capital n that is the population size and here you can see mpr that is average number of randomly selected search agents f with that we can calculate using this equation here we can see this is the here you can see n1d that is the random value with the size of problem dimension that we can determine using standard distribution then we have a coefficient vector and this coefficient vector is updated in each iteration to enhance the search capability and here you can see we have n2 n3 n4 they are set of randomly generated values with the size of problem function and here we have a cosine function r1 r4 that is r3 r4 random values and value for a that is minus 1 plus current iteration into minus 1 divided by 
Next, the number of iteration. So this mathematical model simulate the territorial solitary male's behavior. Next mathematical model we have maternity herd, that is mother of the offsprings. This mathematical model simulate the mother male gazelle behavior for protecting its offspring. As we know in real life, we have death and birth. So old and sick individuals, they die. A new one comes by birth. So here maternity herd ensure the continuity of herd's life by giving birth to new strong gazelles. This behavior simulate the male gazelles involvement in the delivery of gazelle and also at the same time the young male gazelle trying to take over other females. So here you can see VH that is the coefficient vector of young male herd. And here you can see RI3, RI4, the random integer value we have one or two. And this is the best solution to represent the best male gazelle among all. And here you can see X rand that is a randomly selected gazelle. And here this is the coefficient. Next we have third that is bachelor male herd. This mathematical model simulates the behavior when male gazelle become strong, they create their own territories and when they create their own territories they want other female gazelles to join them so they compete to control female gazelles to join them here the young male gazelles fight against adult male gazelle for territories and females so here you can see this behavior is simulated using this mathematical equation xt that is the gazelle position in the current iteration small t that is here current iteration ri5 ri6 they are here the random integer either one or two used for the randomness then here you can see this is the best male gazelle that is the best solution and other we discussed before value for d we can calculate using this it is gazelle position plus best solution into 2 into a random value r6 minus 1. After that we have fourth one that is migration search for food. So migration, so male gazelle roam to find food and migrate due to their high speed and jumping ability. So here we have a mathematical model for this behavior. Here we have uv upper bound minus lower bound into R7 plus lower bound. R7 is here random integer that is either 1 or 2. Lower bound, upper bound. So we need the solution within the boundary. So we will do here upper bound minus lower bound into random value plus the lower bound. After that, we will add territory solitary males, maternity herd, bachelor males herd, migration to food sources, to the habitat. And here, when the, when the solution is added, then we will go here and check. If this condition is true, so again we will calculate the new solution using territorial solitary males, maternity herd, bachelor males herd, migration to poor sources, again add the values to the habitat and then again check the solution. If this condition is not true, then sort the population in the ascending order, update, best solution and then we will update the herd and when the, we updated the herd again we will check now whether the current iteration is less than equal to maximum iteration or not. So here, if this condition is true, again we will repeat the loop until the stopping criteria is met. In each iteration, we will save the solution. And when the stopping condition is met, we will stop and display the best solution that you found in the previous iteration. So that's all about this video. So here we discussed how this algorithm is working. First, we will initialize the important parameters used in this algorithm. After that, we will initialize the random population for n agents. Then using objective function, calculate the fitness values for each individual, then save the best among all. And then we will perform here different. Then, then using different mathematical model, we will continue the optimization process, update the location. And after that, we will add the solutions to the habitat. And here we will sort sort the population, update best, update herd, and then save that solution in each iteration and in the end return the best solution that you found in the last iteration. 
So that's all about this video. If you have any question, you can comment below. And thanks for watching this video.